thank you for joining us today. As you know, the Brownsville Independent School District has six early college high schools, all of them very strong, and we're proud of all their work. But today, we're here with the students and coaches from Pace Early College High School, home of the Mighty Vikings. I'm going to begin by introducing their head coach, Coach Dean, and he can introduce our student athletes and our coaches. Thank you, Dr. Hernandez. I'd like to introduce first our head uh, girls soccer coach, Coach Jesus Villarreal. How are you doing? Coach Villarreal, I would like to introduce Joan Sanchez, junior athlete, Ashley Galvan, our senior athlete. Okay, I'd like to also introduce our head boys soccer coach, Coach Mario Zamora. Coach well, Zamora, I'm ready for me. I'm in high school in 2004. I'm going to introduce uh, my soccer players, Juan Garza Jr. and Osvaldo Wally Canales. Senior. Sí. I'd like to also introduce Coach Joe Espinosa. He is our head powerlifting coach. How y'all doing? My name is Coach Joe Espinosa. I graduated from the Porter Nation. And this is my lifter, Sal Moraida, strongest girl in Brazil. <laughs> okay, next I'd like to introduce Coach Jose Ramirez. He's our head boys basketball coach. Yes, my name is Jose Luis Ramirez, and I graduated from Hannah in 1989. Uh, it's my fifth year here at Pace, and I'm proud to introduce our senior uh, guard, A.J. Medrano, boys basketball. Next, I'd like to introduce Coach Brian Wild, our head swim coach. Yes, and I'd like to introduce uh, Mariana Cardenas. She's a freshman swimmer, and she's also our team captain. Okay, next would be Sergio Sandoval. He's our head girls track coach. Hello, my name is Sergio Sandoval. I graduated from Rivera High School in 2001, and I would like to introduce my team captain, Hope No, she's junior, uh, first team all district. I would also like to introduce the football players here. I'm also the head football coach. That'd be uh, Mati Aguilar. He is a junior. He will be a four-year starter next year. And does Wally also play? That's right, Wally also plays for us. Thank you very much, Dr. Hernandez. <laughs> Wally also played for us. He's a senior. He had six interceptions last year. We're very proud of him. Thank you. Thank you. So let me start over here with track. Hope. Hope you run both cross country and track, right? Yes, ma'am. And I hear you've had a fantastic season. Talk to us about your season this year. Um, well, like at the beginning of my season, I was kind of like slow, like really slow. <laughs> and then like <laughs> at like at District Meet, Sandal just told me like to give it like to like just think of it like as a, as a mental game because running is like really just all mental and then like for the first time well like not the f yeah maybe like the first time I actually like ran with like with like a good men mentality and yeah I was able like to PR in my race. So you placed what at district? Um, I placed third in the two mile and second in the mile. So hope you'll be representing us at regionals next weekend in San Antonio? Yes ma'am. Now what is your distance running? How far do you run? I mean, you're, 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 you're a sprinter yeah. or a distance? Distance, yeah. So what does that mean to everybody? Um, well, like, we run the two mile and the mile. And, yeah. So how many miles do you run a day? Um, well, it depends. Like, on Mondays, I run I, five, I don't know. Uh, yesterday, uh, her workout, actually, in the morning, consisted of three miles. And then after school, she did two miles, but uh, in four parts, 800, 800, 800, and 800. So before school speed. starts, you already ran three miles? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What time do you start running? At 7.30. 7 and does Coach Sandoval run with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I bought her in the car. <laughs> Coach Sandoval, you graduated from Brownsville High School? I graduated from Rivera High School back in 2001. Were you a track star too? Mm, I no. didn't do track in high <laughs> <No>. school. <laughs> he got last no. place at regional. I did cross country in high school, but not, uh, not track. Oh. I played uh, soccer during, cross, during track season. Now, Hope, you're, what grade are you in? Junior. You're a junior. Yes. And you're going to regionals in two events. Yes, ma'am. So we can only expect even better from you. Mm, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I hear you're also a very strong student. Yes, ma'am. Because we know it, it's about doing well on the field in the classroom at Pace High School. Mm. So your college goals? Um, you want to go to college oh, where? Um, well, I think I want to go to TCU. I'm not, yeah. Are you going to try to run there? If I can, yes. Okay. 
You're also known for being famous on Twitter, but we'll get to that at the end. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's go over to Mariana, our swimmer. And I'll come back to football in a minute. Mariana, you're a freshman. Yeah. Yes, Mariana. Yeah, you're a swimmer. <laughs> yeah. You've been swimming since you were how old? About two, three years old. Two or three years old. What does swimming look like when they're two? How does that happen? Did you <laughs> fall know. in and then decide? Uh, there's uh, summer programs, and my parents wanted me to learn when I was like very little, obviously. Um, and they just wanted me to learn to, you know, just in case of anything ever happened. <laughs> and you just stuck to it competitively. Do you come from a family of swimmers? Uh, only my sister swims. She was a swimmer here in Pace High School. So it's a family deal, tradition. Yeah. As a freshman to be qualifying in regionals, what events are those? Um, well, we qualified for... Our relay, our 200 uh, medley relay yeah. were qualified. I had four, four girls qualified for that. Mariana, yeah. what did you swim at regionals? At regionals, we, oh, we the, the girls, we only swam the 200 medley relay. She swam the breaststroke. And, and the breaststroke. And you swim year-round? How does one get to be yeah. a, I mean, you, you qualified as a freshman in a very competitive field yeah. in swimming. So how did you, how does that, how'd you get that good? You're good. You're a freshman and you're at regionals. How'd you do that? Practice. I mean. How often do you practice? Well, we practice a lot, actually. Um, you know. Every, like, we would practice every day, and now in off season, just one of. Like, they go pretty much daily. We got a great facility over there uh, at the Clark Aquatic Center, so weather doesn't come into you know being a hindrance at all. Uh, we can have very consistent practicing, and it's, it's a great situation for the kids. Fantastic. Coach Wald, you've been coaching at Pace quite a while, so you've you've seen lots of swimmers. Um, What's the secret to being a good swimmer? Uh, I think, uh, you know, having the focus uh, and, and like dedication mm -hmm. to uh, continue. And it's really more over time than it is, you know, in, in, in just a season or whatever. Mm -hmm. Most of the kids that are highly successful have swam when they've been younger. We have good mm -hmm. club, a good club team here in Brownsville also. Mm -hmm. So they do start early five, six mm -hmm. years old. So if I'm a parent of a student at uh, Manzano or Stell, which are your feeders, and I want them to swim at Pace High School, uh, and I'm coming in next year, what advice do you have for those young kids that want to be swimmers at Pace? Well, they, they would, it would be good for them to get involved in the clubs if mm -hmm. they can. And then uh, BISD also has the summer recreation program, which is a free program mm -hmm. that starts, I think, the second week of June, goes for mm -hmm. A good month and they get very good teaching uh, many different levels that we have all the way from beginner up to the high school uh, competitive swimmers and so, diving too so you be, being a swimmer it's year-round you can do that year round. oh yeah yeah it's year round you still have three years of high school yes ma'am I do so we expect great things yeah and I want to get better mm -hmm. so, yeah. So you, what are you going to do this summer? This summer, hopefully, I can still go and practice swimming. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I want to get better every mm -hmm. single day. Where do you want to go to college? I still haven't decided yet. There are a lot of... University things. of Wisconsin, I think. <laughs> 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 we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> okay, AJ. AJ's plays, you play basketball, and you've been a starter on the basketball team, or you've been a, letter, a, a varsity basketball player for, what, three years? Yes, ma'am. Three years. And you're a senior? Yes, ma'am. You also play football? Yes, ma'am. But not baseball? No. I understand you are the leading rebounder on your team. Yes, ma'am. Explain, ex this is really an important question. How does the shortest kiddo on the team become the leading rebounder on the team and the, it's funny but it's a it's a legitimate question because not all of us are as tall as your coach but somehow you were the leading rebounder on a very good basketball team that made the playoffs how'd you do that 
Um, well, it all helps with my vertical. <laughs> I have a really high vertical, so I just go out and jump and get the ball <laughs> without caring. <laughs> without caring? Without caring. Which explains how you broke your toe this year. Dislocated my toe. Dislocated, yeah. <laughs> how many rebounds were you getting a game? Uh, 9.3. 9.3 rebounds a game. Wow. For guard, it's yeah. high. Yeah. So what does that vertical look like? Mm. Did you ever measure it? It's, ab it's above 30. I know that. Look at about 36, 38. And it's about positioning. Being yes, smart too, right? Uh, he, he wants the ball all the time. And uh, the biggest thing is usually when you, uh, on a rebound, usually you box out the guys that are already inside the paint. And since he's an outside player, people we forget about. And if they see him that it's kind of small, you don't, you're not afraid of him because he's small. So most posts never even considered mm -hmm. boxing him out because he's small. Until they jumped over them, then they realized, um, mm -hmm. I better box him out. But, uh, he's also quick. So it's two things going for him. He can jump and he's quick. So obviously that's, that's how he can rebound. So you've stuck through the basketball program for some pretty lean years. Yes. We saw a huge improvement over the past two years. What was the secret to this year's success? Because you all made the playoff appearance and it had been a while. So how'd y'all do that? I, it's more playing together. We had an outside league. We would like join tournaments and we would mm -hmm. all play together like year round, even during the summer, during, before the season started. So if I'm a student at Manzano and I'm a young student or at Stell and I want to make it on the basketball, I want to be a successful basketball player like you and maybe I'm not as tall as everybody else. What is your advice for them? Go through the football program. It helps. The workouts help. Oh. And playing basketball year round. The lifting weights in football and all that. Yes. Huh? That's where you got that vertical from? That's where, well, I had it, but it helped make it higher. <laughs> Coach Dean would like to think he helped you get that vertical in the powerlifting program, yes. and the weightlifting program. I want to thank you for <laughs> Coach, it was a rough, rough year. You had some injuries, but somehow you pulled it off, went to the, made it to the playoffs, um, and you're known as a defensive team. Yes. You're known for a lot of, how do you, how do you build that in them? Um, you know, a lot of times the coaches say that, uh, you know, hard hustle has to come in through the door when mm -hmm. you coach them. But, um, the biggest thing for these guys here, and I think for all the Pace kids, is that they, uh, they hate to lose. Mm -hmm. And uh, the more you tell them that you can't win, the more determined they are to prove you wrong. And so a lot of times, uh, you know, working with these kids mm -hmm. was never uh, work for us simply because you know how much passion they had, how much fire they had. Mm -hmm. um, our job is basically to uh, teach them how to fall or how to chase the ball or how to uh, mm -hmm. box somebody out or how to switch defensively. But uh, hard hustle, uh, mm -hmm. they brought it every time. And, uh, the biggest thing is we praise them more for what they did defensively than for shooting a three. They hit a three, okay, that's old news. But mm -hmm. if they took a charge, then that was an automatic dessert at dinner mm -hmm. afterwards. So uh, you see kids taking two or three charges just because they want ice cream. <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right, AJ, you're graduating. What are your plans? Going to college. You're going to college. At Pace High School, is that something y'all think about every day at school? Yes. Really? Well, with Miss Longoria, yes. Well, explain that to us, those who don't know Miss Longoria. <laughs> <laughs> she has us on top of our college applications, our FAFSA, everything. We have to have everything done. Miss Longoria is your principal? Yes, ma'am. And she tells you every day? Just about. <laughs> Can you hide? No, you can't. There's no hiding? There's no, no hiding. hiding? So the expectation of Pace High School is everybody goes to college? Yes. Good. Sarah. Sarah, <laughs> your coach introduced you as the strongest little girl in Brownsville. How did you earn that title? Um, I don't know. I, go to, I went to state twice already, and I've um, got in first place in my weight division also in the city meets. So you're a power lifter. You've been power lifting for how many years? Three, since the program started here. Three years of power lifting and you've been to state how many times? Twice. Twice. And you're a senior? Yes. Okay. What made you decide to power lift? 
I stayed for practice one day and I, I liked it. Are you in any other sport? Have you ever been in any sport? Yes. When? My freshman year, I was in soccer. But you, and you, this year I did track also. You did track and powerlifting? Yeah. <coughs> when you went home and told mom and dad you wanted to be a powerlifter, what did they say? My mom was for it, but my dad didn't want me to. What was he worried about? Me looking all buff like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want you to look like Coach Espinosa? No. <coughs> no? <coughs> and what's it like to work out and train and be a power lifter? It's fun. It's a stress reliever. And it, it gets so my mind off of things. And you can lift your weight? Like three times my weight. You lift three <laughs> times your weight? Yeah. Explain how much you call what weight you qualified in. I qualified in the 105 weight class. What does that mean? Mm, we go by weight divisions depending on how you how much you weigh. So I weighed in at 103 and. So you you I weigh 100 and you lift 300. Just about. Wally, what can you lift? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Sarah, so you went to state and how'd you do? I play second this year. Second in the state. You're the second strongest girl in the state of Texas. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Well, congratulations. Coach Espinosa, how many girls do you have powerlifting? How many girls do we have powerlifting? In my athletic class, which is my AP athletic class, we have about 12 girls in our program right now. Now, uh, here at Pace, uh, we share athletes. So we have athletes at play soccer, we have two little girls that play soccer, that power lift. We have another two little girls that play basketball, that power lift. So overall, I want to say maybe we have about a total of 20, 20 girls, female athletes that power lift. And how many of those went to regionals for you at our state? Okay, our, well let me start from the beginning. Our first year that we came to Pace, or well, that they opened powerlifting, we had one girl qualified to regionals. Our second year, uh, we had uh, three girls qualified to regionals. This past year, we had five girls qualified to regionals and three girls qualified to state. And when is that season? Because I know volleyball is fall, basketball is around winter, spring, and soccer spring. So the the good thing about powerlifting that we could lift year round. So they can be in volleyball and powerlifting at the same yes, time. Yes, as long so as we we work together with the coaching staff, and I mean, if they have games and mm -hmm. et cetera stuff like that, we won't have them lift. But if we have a chance to do it, yes, we will lift you around. Um, yeah. Our season starts in January. Yeah, yeah. the, the meet starts in January, but I tend to start a season as soon as football season's over, we go straight into powerlifting. So if even if I'm an, if I don't want to be in any other sport, I can still do powerlifting. Yes, ma'am. And if I've never done anything before, you'll train them. We will teach you how to All the supplies, materials, everything Anybody you can, can lift. It's a relatively young program, and you've been very successful in three years, so congratulations. Congratulations. You're a senior, Sarah? Yes, ma'am. Where do you want to go to school? I'm going to stay here. You're going to stay here? Did you already pick up some dual hours, college hours? No. <laughs> Not yet? Maybe this year. <coughs> Wally. Let's go with Wally and Juan. Wally and Juan play soccer. This is a special year for the Vikings. You went how far into the playoffs? In third round. Third round, what does that mean to those watching? Um, that will pays the boys soccer went to third round playoffs. Third round. <laughs> <laughs> you had three games past your season? Excuse me? You were probably, what, two weekends away from the state championship? Oh, right? yes. Four games away from the state Four games away from the state championship. Yes. This year, Wally, you were telling me y'all ran under the the belief that we are back what did that mean to you that that means like um right here in, in pace the soccer program had, it hadn't been in a playoff since 2010 and so this year we we came back so like we're back in the playoffs <laughs> so. and how what that what would feel like what that feel like exciting and like it was uh, like a real success and stuff. Now, Wally, you're a senior. Yes, ma'am. What are your college plans? I'm planning to go to San Antonio or Victoria. You tried out for soccer for both programs? Yes, ma'am. So you're still working on playing soccer in college? So for all those kids that are watching, because we have 
young children watching. You play football. Yes. You play soccer. Yes, ma'am. I could have sworn I saw you at a baseball game the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You have three sports. How do you balance that and still make good grades? Uh, just and I think you have a job. Or you had a job through some of that. <laughs> so how do you balance all that? Um, just keep your mind focused on, on what you have to do. And just stay, yeah, just stay mentally focused on, on your tasks every day. You had a very, very good year. In fact, I think you, believe you earned all district honors. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Anything else? Mm. You can go ahead and brag about, talk about yourself. <laughs> um, I s yeah, well, first team all district for soccer, and um, I scored in every playoff game that we you had. Scored in every playoff game. Yes. Did you get any honors in football? Mm, no. 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 We participated in the All Star game. Oh, oh yeah. All -Star. on the All Star game. When is that game? On May 9th. May 9th. Where at? In Don Donna. In Donna. Donna. And we'll be able to recognize you. Yes. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> now, while you've been playing soccer, you're a very good soccer player. I've saw you. I've watched you play for Thank all you. season. <laughs> you've been playing since you were five or six. Yes, ma'am. Where do you play when you're five? Uh, I played in Boisa, uh -huh. the league. It's just right here on the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if I'm four years old and I love soccer, what's your advice to me? So I want to grow up to be like Wally and Juan and, and soccer. Just uh, st start at a young age and uh, look for a league to get in and just um, practice every day and during the summers and stuff. What was the highlight of soccer season this year? Making it to playoffs. Most memorable moment? Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, the first going playoffs, well, for me. Just going to the playoffs was good? Yeah. Juan, you're the district's, or you're the school's leading scorer in soccer? Yes, ma'am. How many did you score this year? Nine. Nine goals. And how many games? And. Eight, like 14 district games. 14, 14 district, 14 nine games. goals, leading score. Have you been playing your whole life too? Yes, yeah, since I was little. The f how little is little? <laughs> I like seven years old. And you played year round. Do yes, you play in the summer also? Yes, I'm so actually you're playing, playing right now soccer. too. Do you run cross country also? Yes, I also do. But <laughs> I, I don't last. I you don't, don't last? Like the <laughs> season, the season. Oh. <laughs> Juan, what was the highlight of your year for this year as a pace soccer player? Well, making the team and going to playoffs. Going to the playoffs. Now, pace had an interesting crowd following it to all the games. You always had an interesting crowd. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. it feel like to see all those fans in the stands? It felt good that they were supporting us. Yeah. Coach Zamora, your first year as a coach at, yes, at Pace High School. Uh, you took a team that hadn't been in the playoffs since 2010. How did you convince them that they could do that? I remember since uh, day one in our first scrimmage, I told the guys uh, there was not a lot of people out there. <laughs> so I told them we need to start winning, even though it's a scrimmage, non-district games, and you will see the stands full of crowd, full of people from Pace. And actually, we did uh, our last playoff game. It was against Potter. I believe uh, we got 1,200 people in there. So that was uh, exciting for us because we had a lot of people there, like I told the guys since day one. So I'm excited about that and making it to the playoffs since 2010 for the kids was uh, unbelievable for them. Probably when you ask them, uh, what was their highlight? For me, it was making it to the playoffs, winning our. Uh, five district game, oh. winning our area game, and then you have a great game against one of the top teams in the Valley. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Juan, the first time y'all faced Porter, they it wasn't quite so close. <laughs> nope. What changed in that last game, Juan? We actually 
they, I think they got too confident. We were actually like giving more guts and stuff. What do you think, Wally? What was the difference in that game? Um, it was it was uh when we got to playoffs, like the team, you could see it in the team that um the team got stronger as a team. It wasn't that much as a individuality. And so we played more as a team, and as we went on in playoffs, like that helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. So during that Porter game, like that was the best game I've had with the team, as a team. What's it like to be on the Pace soccer team? For those who are watching that want to play soccer at Pace, it's it's a good program. It's a it's growing uh, by year every year. What's practice like? It's hard work. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this year we ran under the motto that Brownsville ISD was the soccer capital of Texas. We've seen Lopez win state, Porter win state, Rivetta win state. Who's next? Pace. Pace hopefully. Pace hopefully won. <laughs> Let's go to the girls. Girls had a great year this year. Um, Ashley, you're our captain? Yes, Mom. You made the playoffs this year also? Yes, we did. So Pace, we've seen their girls program really come around the past two years. Yes. Uh, Ashley, you're a senior. You'll be graduating. What are your college plans? I plan to attend Mount Marty College in Yankton, South Dakota, or the King's College in New York City. Are you going to play soccer at both? Yes, Mom. Are you excited about that? Very excited. <laughs> when did you start playing soccer? Started playing um, when I was 11 in seventh grade. Seventh grade. Joanna, you're a senior also? Uh, no, I'm a junior. You're a junior? Yes. Oh, but you already have college plans. Uh, of course. How can one not? <laughs> At Pace High School, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, I want to be an Aggie. Uh, and I'm so proud. I want to cry right now. <laughs> What do you want to study there? I want to study either aerospace engineering, petroleum engineering, or nuclear engineering. Either or. And you're number six in your class? Yes, ma'am. And you're captain on the team? Uh, this past year I was, oh, this past two years I've been co-captain. What's it like on the girls soccer team? It's, it's an honor to play with these girls. I mean, um, we've come together so much. I mean, th these past three years that I've been here, you, you see individual players, um, yes, they give their heart out, but as a team, everyone split up. And this year it was, it was like, yeah, we united. We, were, we weren't just 11 girls playing on that field. We were this one beating heart, just fighting to get that ball in the goal and making our school proud, changing it the way it was before. Yeah. And you did, you made the playoffs. Did you make the yeah. playoffs last year? Nope. So we hadn't been to the playoffs in a while in girls' soccer. Four years. In four yeah. years. So now we're back. We're back. And you think it's, you're going to be back next year? Uh, with hard sure. work and dedication, of course we will be. Yes. Coach Verial. He's yes, your yes. coach, right? Yeah. What's practice like under Coach Verial? <laughs> Go it's ahead. It's awesome. a, yeah. Why is it awesome? It's a roller coaster ride. Right? I always start off practice complaining, oh, we're going to run again. We have to do this, we have to do that, and by the end of the practice, everyone's laughing, everyone's having fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. It is so much fun. Yes. Soccer's hard work. Yeah. yeah. So all the young girls out there that want to play soccer at Pace High School, and they're still in junior high or middle school, what advice do you have for them? It's all about um, working hard. Because either of us, we didn't start playing until we were in middle school because that's when the chance was for us. I mean, no, I mean, both of us don't come from a, a very uh, a good no. background, but like money-wise, we mm -hmm. didn't, we couldn't really like afford to play in a team, or our parents didn't have time. So, once middle school came around, there was the, there was our chance, was a little window, and mm -hmm. we took it. And it's just we've been working so hard. Both of us made uh, all district first team, That's so like, it, it's just about trying to catch up with those girls who've been playing since they could walk. And you did? Yeah. Are you excited for next year? Extremely excited. Maybe another round? Maybe all the way. You think? 
uh, hopefully. That's what, Coach Varial, that's an interesting yes. point. Um, we've seen very strong state-bound state playoffs in boys. What do yes. we need to do to get our girls at that level? Well, first of all, they need to start playing young. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, um, now, nowadays, uh, many, many club teams mm -hmm. are playing outside. And, and he will start programs also in the summer mm -hmm. for the girls to start playing. So the younger you start playing is basically what's going to get you faster, stronger, uh, that soccer skill that needs to be there. Uh, technically, what we do here in high school, uh, what we've been working on is making better your skill. That's about it. Um, and if you, if you don't have it, we'll make you. That's pretty much what, what it is. We've seen a lot of soccer action at Pace, a lot of soccer fever, a lot of soccer uh, <laughs> spirit. Uh, do the coaches work, you all work together on some of this? Yes, ma'am. We, yes. we, 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 you're, you're both high school players. Yes. 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 Or and collegiate we, players, actually, right? Yes, also. Yeah. And, and, and we, we, we talk, we, we plan, we, we get together. And, and we argue, <laughs> and we, and sometimes. we sometimes. But uh, it's it's a very, it's very. I'm very fortunate to work also with Coach Amor. I mean, and don't get me wrong. When we argue, we it's basically so something something positive, mm -hmm. something positive. And and, and yeah. we make our, our practice the the level how we're gonna go, the intensity we're gonna do that day, and 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 that's basically what how we communicate. You believe these girls have the talent to get us to the next level? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Um, um, in the last few years, we've seen the, the, the gap being closed mm -hmm. when we get there to regionals. Um, I'm pretty sure pretty soon we'll see a Bronco team being there and the, winning that regional tournament. I'm very anxious. Uh, I would like mm -hmm. that to happen for Pace. All right, well, congratulations and thank you for all you did. Great you. season, uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Coach Dean, lots of great stuff going on at Pace Early College High School. Uh, I love to hear from the student athletes, and I'm very impressed with their college attitude and their college mentality, where it's the expectation. Um, this summer, a lot, instead of uh, kids sitting around and telling their parents how bored they are, right, what can they do at Pace High School this summer? So we have open gym. I know in open gym they'll also have some organized activities in there for strength and conditioning. So uh, swimming will be open, the aquatic center. We have golf, golf will be available, and we also have tennis. Tennis will be available at each campus. If I want to do tennis and golf, how do I sign up for that? Well, uh, you don't really have to sign up for it. You need to show up. Uh, we'll, we'll get in touch with the junior highs is normally what we do. We get in touch with the junior highs. We send out a letter when everything's going to start. Those kids know where they need to be. All they have to do is show up. Physicals? Do they need physicals for the summer or just they, physicals? They do not need physicals for the summer. They do not need physicals for the summer. Uh, most physicals for the 7th and 8th grade carry over until August. So, no, we do not need physicals for the summer. Okay, just a permission slip. Yeah, okay. permission slips. All right. Well, thank you, student athletes. I'm very proud of the work you've done here with your teachers and your coaches. Uh, can't thank you enough for all you do and all the time that you put in because I know it's a lot of time. I know it's a lot of time, but our kids deserve the best and you've given them that and I'm very proud of all of you. On behalf of BISD Athletics the, uh, and the school district, I want to thank you for joining us this afternoon and invite you to come out and support spring sports. We didn't hear it from softball and baseball, but those seasons are underway and we've got some fantastic games. Both pay, uh, softball and baseball have a shot at the playoffs too, so come out and support our spring athletes wherever uh, you want to go. Uh, and thank you for joining us. And anything you want to say, folks? Low like it. Yeah. With a little bit more. How Stay about the green. kids? Stay green. <laughs> Stay thank green. you very much. Stay Stay green. Green.